In this SketchUp tutorial, I want to show you how to set up scenes in your model. So right now, this whole time we've been working in just one view. And anytime we want to switch the way we're looking at it, we're just working this one view and orbiting or panning around and that type of thing. And that works fine. Um, but scenes can be a really handy tool and will come into play later if you want to make um, a simple animation or something like that. Okay, so to access the scenes, what we're going to do is go up to Window at the top of the screen and then select Scenes. And this is going to open up the Scenes menu. Right now you see that there's nothing in here because we haven't uh, set any up. So to create a new scene, you simply hit the plus sign for Add Scene. So once you've done that, you'll see a few things have happened. First, Scene 1 has populated this menu right here, and then we have a new Scene 1 tab up at the top. So now we're able to fill this up with different scenes if we'd like. You'll see that Scene 1 is the name, so if I'd like to change that, I can simply type in there and call this perhaps Overview or something like that. We're going to include it in the animation. That's something that will come up later, but we'll leave that as an option. And we'll let all of these properties be saved, but that is something you could certainly go through and change later. If I want to add another scene, while I have this dialog box open, if I hit the plus sign, you'll see that now I've added scene two. Okay, over on the left, I'm able to toggle back and forth between this overview and then scene two. Right now they look exactly the same because I haven't made any changes. But let's say I move my view. I am able to save this now. If I don't do anything and just go back and say overview, see how it nicely spins around, and then scene two, nothing changed. It's because I didn't update. Okay, so what I need to do is come back in, change the view to how I like it, and then the very important step of going up to the Scene 2 tab, right-clicking on it, and saying Update. When you update it, now you're going to be able to go back to my Overview, and then my Scene 2. Now if I make a change here, you know, something like this, and don't update it, I will lose that change. So what's nice about that is that you're able to go into any particular view, move around a little bit, but you haven't ruined that scene. If you had some great view going, you're not going to ruin it. So if you actually want to, you know, save the change, you need to right-click and update. Also, while we get into the right-click, you'll see that you're able to, first of all, open the Scene Manager, that's this menu right here. Play the animation going from one scene to the next. Not going to be very exciting with just the two. Delete the scene. Move it left or right. So if I hit move left, now scene two is the first one. Move right. I've moved it to the right. And then I can also add. I can add scenes from here as well. So you have different ways of doing, you know, the same kind of thing. So now I can kind of move around, get into the space a different way, right click and say update. So you're able to come in and save a variety of scenes um, very simply. Now I'm going to add one more scene. And then I want to show you uh, something that I haven't talked about yet. So at this point, we've been, you know, spinning around and doing that type of thing, but always looking at this in a fairly three-dimensional way. Well, if we come up to the top of our screen and check camera, you'll see that we have some standard views that we're able to use. So right now, if I click and say that I'd like to view this in a top view, I am able to look at this directly from the top. Now, this still has a three-dimensional appearance, so if I go back into camera, you'll see that it's still in perspective view. If I change that to parallel projection, I'm able to see my model in a very traditional-looking orthographic top view. If that's something I'd like to save, I might right-click on that and say 
update. And in the scene manager, I might change that to top. Okay, so I, I could right click, add another scene, and then spin this around. Okay, now notice when I do that, that things look a little bit different. That's because I took this out of parallel, or per perspective rather, sorry, and changed this to parallel. Okay, so if I go back up and change that to perspective, ah, that's back to how we're used to looking at things in SketchUp. There we go. Okay, so under camera, under standard views, you have all sorts of different options for top, bottom, front, back, and so on, whether they're in parallel perspective or even two-point perspective. If you'd like to have that very traditional two-point look, that's something you could do, although I think it looks fairly extreme, but that's an option. So those are some different types of views and scenes you can work in when you're in SketchUp.